Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal facing Manuel Locatelli transfer blow with Juventus entering talks of deal and then we're going to look at Mikel Arteta's main Arsenal transfer mission this summer may hint at Eve Basuma decision. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal facing Manuel Locatelli transfer blow with Juventus entering talks for deal. So the reports are stating that Arsenal have suffered a fresh blow in their pursuit of transfer target Manuel Locatelli. Arsenal could be about to face a Manuel Locatelli transfer blow with Juventus reportedly entering talks to sign the midfielder from Sassuolo. It was reported last week that in demand Manuel Locatelli might prefer other options even if Arsenal make a formal bid. Gunners boss Mikel Arteta wants to sign another midfielder this summer after securing a deal for 21-year-old Albert Sambi Lokonga from Anderlecht. Sambi Lokonga has joined the North Londoners in a deal worth around £14 million. Manny Locatelli has been long a term target and has been linked with a £34 million move to the Emirates Stadium since his heroics with Italy at Euro 2020. The 23-year-old played in six of their matches, scoring a brace in a comfortable 3-0 win over Switzerland during the group stage. He appeared as a late substitute of the Azzurri, defeated England in the final at Wembley Stadium but was not one of the penalty takers during the penalty shootout success. However, Arsenal are set to suffer a blow in their plans to sign Manny Locatelli because they face strong competition from Juventus. The Serie A side have made an offer of a two-year loan with a £26 million option to buy clause inserted into his contract, according to Gold.com. Sassuolo have turned down the offer and told their Italian top-flight rivals to meet their transfer asking price of £34 million. Juventus are trying to rejuvenate their squad after a surprisingly poor campaign on the former midfielder Andrea Perlo. Cristiano Ronaldo and his teammates finished fourth in Serie A, failing to win a tenth successive title. Andrea Perla was sacked following the end of the campaign and has been replaced by Juve's former boss Massimiliano Allegri, who faces the task of convincing Man Cristiano Ronaldo to remain at the club for another year. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta is midway through a huge revamp of his squad and will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Italian giants for the signing of Manny Locatelli. The Spaniard oversaw a disappointing campaign at the Emirates and is set to refresh his squad with some new faces. Arsenal came 8th in the Premier League last season and will not play in European competition for the first time since 1995. Left-back Nuno Tavares became Arsenal's first signing of the summer transfer window, followed by Sambi Lokonga and there are plans to complete Ben White's transfer as well. So it looks like Arsenal facing Manuel Locatelli transfer blow with the Juventus entering talks of deal. And this is a transfer that has only been between two clubs, Juventus and Arsenal, and they are the only two clubs that have been competing to try and get Manuel Locatelli's signature. But Manuel Locatelli looks very keen to a move to Italy and to remain in Italy with the team like Juventus come calling, it's very likely that he will be joining that team. But there is still a chance Arsenal could sign them if Juventus cannot meet Sassuolo asking price and Manny Locatelli is still open to a move to the Gunners. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Mikel Arteta's main Arsenal transfer mission this summer may hint at Eve Basuma decision. So the reports are stating that Arsenal have added to their squad with the signing of Albert Sambi Lokonga but Mikel Arteta is still on the market for another central midfielder to bolster his options even further. Following another 8th place finish in the Premier League season, there is expected to be a major overhaul of the Gunners' first team squad as long as the current transfer window remains open. In terms of activities, it helps fund such a difficult process that hasn't quite happened yet as Arsenal's most high-profile exits outside of David Luiz leaving on a free transfer have been loan deals for Constantinos Mavropanos, Matea Guendouzi and William Saliba. Although with six weeks until deadline day, things appear to be picking up pace at the Emirates Stadium with a few announcements expected shortly. Granite Xhaka has already agreed personal terms with AS Roma and it is understood that the Serie A club will increase their offer to meet £17 million to meet Arsenal's demands. Meanwhile, Joe Willock and Reese Nelson could also depart on loan with the former set to join Newcastle United after his remarkable goal-scoring feature during the second half of last season. And it's the decision to let Joe Willock leave that may hint at what Mikel Arteta has in mind between now and deadline day. It's no secret that Arsenal have re heavily relied on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's goals in recent season, as there's been an alarming contribution from the midfield players in particular. 
Last season, Mohamed Elneny, Thomas Partey, Danny Ceballos and Granit Xhaka managed four goals between them across all competitions, whilst the more creative players such as Willian and Moussbifro and Martin Erdogan managed seven in total. Mikel Arteta is well aware of the problem, highlighting it back in December ahead of the January transfer window. It's very clear, if you say can't they do it, it's a question mark. Have they done it in the past? The answer is no, said Mikel Arteta. We haven't had any goals from midfield, it's not something that happened this year, it happened in the other years and it's something that has to be addressed. To change the qualities and characteristics of players is very, very difficult. A big team needs players in midfield who scores, they need central defenders that scores from set pieces to add to that. If you start to lose those margins, you start to lose those points, you start to be away from the top team, this is not any science. Arsenal have already lost significant ground on the top team, so one would assume that Mikel Arteta and technical director will look do will look to address the issue this summer. The arrival of Albert Samuel Okonga was confirmed on Monday, but he is hardly a renowned goalscoring midfielder. And with Joe Willock united eight times in 14 appearances for Newcastle United last season, set for a return to St James's Park, it's still a void that needs to be filled to the Emirates. This makes it perhaps explain why links to Eve Basuma have gone quiet in recent weeks. Whilst the Brighton Hove Albion midfielder is one of the best in his position in the Premier League, he's only ever scored eight career goals, with his main focus on the defensive side of the game. In party, Mohamed El Nenny and now Sami Lokonga, Miklos says already has three players of a similar ilk, which provides a strong case as to why Eve Basuma might not be the priorities right right now. With that said, and with McClaughton's admission in mind, ideally also the next transmission of the signing Ben White has to be a midfielder that can chip in with his fair share of goals. So it looks like McClaughton's main awesome transmission this summer may hint at Eve Basuma's decision and we might not see Eve Basuma in an Arsenal shirt. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post a special link I've put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.